friends, welcome back. It's our brand new series that we've been doing all month long and it's called Puzzle Pieces. When I say puzzle, you say pieces. Puzzle, puzzle. So I have a question for you guys. When I say who's got it, you're gonna say what? That's right, are you guys ready? I want you to step on your feet. I want you to get really loud about this. Are you ready? Who's got it? That's right, God's got it. You know, there's several people in my life that I trust. I trust my friends, I trust my mom, I trust my grandmother. Like there's so many people in my life that I trust. I have a question for you guys. Turn out some people that you trust in your life. Who do you trust? Okay, you trust your mom, I love that. You trust your teacher, amazing. Okay, you trust Miss Patricia, awesome, I love her. Yes, you trust your cousin, I love that. So there's different people that we can trust. And today we're gonna be learning about how we can trust God no matter what. So why don't you stay standing and let's worship our King forever because he is so amazing. something of her but I don't want to spoil the details so why don't you guys go ahead and get ready because we're gonna hear from Ollie in the clubhouse and let's check out the story together. Ooh, ooh. know what time it is it's time to hear a story full of wonder there's so much fun we'll have learning together so let's go down go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends Friends, I'm Zoe, and I found this puzzle right here on the clubhouse, and it's all about fruit. Now, to do this puzzle, first you have to pick a puzzle piece, then you have to find the matching shape on the board. This puzzle piece is a banana. My dad is so silly. He likes to pretend the bananas are phones. And the banana shape is right there. This puzzle piece is an orange. When I eat oranges, I like to make orange smiles. And the orange shape is right there. Ooh, this puzzle even has a grape. My mom tells me I'm going to turn into a giant grape if I keep eating so many. And the grape goes right here. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. 
Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Having fun with a fruit puzzle, are you? Yes, I am working on a fruit puzzle, and it is so much fun. But it is making me kind of hungry. Fruit is yummy food. It's true. I know someone who needed food, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through, ho. Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. Good to see you. I'm Luis the Handyman. And today, I'm fixing this bread box for my mom. When my mom makes bread, this is where she likes to put it. <laughs> Say, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. <laughs> yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Elijah. Elijah trusted God. He always tried to do what God told him to do. But it hadn't rained in a really long time and there was no food to eat. God told Elijah to go to a town and find a woman there who had food for him. So Elijah walked to town. Can you stand up and walk in place? Ready? Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Good. Okay, you can sit down now. Elijah walked to town and found the woman. Elijah asked her for a little water and a piece of bread, but she said, I only have enough flour and oil to make bread for me and my son, and then I will not have any more. Elijah told the woman, you can make bread and bring it to me, because God said your flour and oil will not run out. So the woman quickly made some bread. She brought it to Elijah, and guess what? The flour and the oil are full again. No matter how much flour and oil she used, she still had more. Wow! Everyone say, God's got it. Ready? God's got it. Just like God said, Elijah, the woman and her son, had food every day because the flour and oil did not run out. <laughs> God's got it. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Elijah and the woman trusted God, and you can trust God's got it too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. The oil and the flour never ran out. God's got it. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to finish this puzzle now. I'll see you all next time. Bye! It is now time for our memory verse of the month. And it's one of my favorite ones, I gotta be honest. In the scripture, we learn that we can trust God no matter what. So it's Proverbs 3, 5, and I'm gonna do it right now. You ready? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. But friends, this time, I want you to help me. Why don't you go ahead and step on your feet, and I want you to be so loud that the whole church can hear you, your whole neighborhood can hear you, no matter where you are, everyone in the house can hear you do this. Will you do it with me? It comes from Proverbs 3, 5. Are you guys ready? Yeah? Give me some thumbs up if you're ready to do this. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. Okay, friends, but I gotta be honest. We can do that again. We can do it loud this time. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Amazing job, friends. You guys did so, so good. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know someone who makes me happy. 
I know someone who makes me dance He's the reason my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap Someone who makes me dance He's the reason that my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands And clap, clap, clap to the sound Jump, yeah. jump up and down Let's go. Spin, spin, spin all around I'm singing it out One, two, three, four Jesus is the very amazing that we can trust God no matter what that's right everybody say with me say no matter what oh come on little life say no matter what no matter what so no matter what you're facing you can trust God no matter what's happening on the soccer field you can trust God no matter what happens in the grocery store you can trust God no matter what your parents see on the news or what's on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or YouTube you can trust God no matter what that's right so who's got it that's right God's got it so put it in his hands trust God Pray for your friends, pray for your school, pray for your karate team, pray for your gymnastics team. Put it in God's hands, you can trust him because he has never lost the battle and that's a promise. So why don't we pray together? God, I thank you for this day. God, truly there is no one like you in all the earth. God, you deserve all the glory and all the praise. And God, we're gonna trust you no matter what. No matter what we see, we're not gonna let that change, uh, change how we see you, God. And so God, we just pray that you just come into our hearts and make us new, God. God, truly, we just say thank you. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with us every single step of the way. You, you promised us that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And you said you will not leave us 365 times so that you can remind us that every single day, God, that you're with us every step of the way, that we do not have to fear. And so God, I just thank you for that. God, it's in your mind and we pray, amen. All right, friends, I'll see you next week. See you later, bye.